Welcome back to the jungle. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond on Briar. We're currently in Platinum 4. Since we last talked, I've been losing on this on this account. <laughs> Listen, whenever you climb, 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 I guess it'll, it will hand you losses, but I also can take some responsibility in the sense that, yeah, I've been losing. I haven't been playing to carry too much. I've been having too much fun with this champion. I'll try out the funny builds like lethality and stuff like that. And then just kind of shoot an ulti come mid to late game and lose the entire game. So, if you're losing on this champion, one recommendation I can give you is come mid to late game. Don't shoot a funny ulti. Shoot a serious one, you know. Shoot one that really means something instead of just, I just spawned, my ulti's up, it's time to party. Because in the mid game, you don't feel a huge loss whenever you mess up that initial ulti. Or the third one. Or the fourth one. Or the fifth one, but <laughs> as they keep building up, they just keep getting worse and worse. Because the late game's pretty similar to the early game. Like, if you lose then, then you really pay a big price. So, I guess that's how it should be, to be fair. It'd be a bit absurd if Briar could just shoot off some ultis with no consequences. Now, wouldn't it? So, I guess that's how it is. We'll see what we can do in this match. We're playing against Echo. I would say this is a fine matchup because we're going to be stronger than him in the early game, especially if he messes anything up. So I'll just stick to the full clear as per usual. And then after these are done, then we can actually look for some plays. Looking at the lanes though, we don't have like super easily gankable lanes. And Nivea is one of those lanes that's always going to be playing safe. Thresh Draven have bottling push. So. Okay. Olaf taking matters into his own hands. Doesn't pay off for him, but bottling somehow kills Shaco. Since they have this so pushed, I could just move past here and try to zone the Kai'Sa. Hmm. Lantern me in, big man. I got time to play with. Wow, Kaisa's in there, huh? You really thought. The Kaisa switched targets, so I think that's where it kind of falls off for him. Since Echo's back, I'll go ahead and leave, finish out the scuttle, and then probably reset the Anivius push then. Nice. Pretty clean, pretty efficient. This makes me slower to top side. I think that's fine. Iron Spike Whip. I'll go ahead and get a control word for the Olaf too. Whenever you have time to play with, like I'll finish Golems and then um, maybe be able to do this scuttle since Echo. You guys really stayed down there, huh? I wonder what they stayed for. Listen, like there's no turret plate. You have already spent all your HP and mana like three times over. We were on an overstay zoning then. Must have gotten past me. But anyways, Echo didn't do the top scuttle since Olaf pushed him out, so... Might be able to get to this. He has a blasting one, I think that's okay for me. My problem is that I've spent my smite and I've spent my ghost. But if he smites this, then maybe I could fight him on... ...his Gromp. So he just gives that up too. And we can just pester him, we're way stronger. Way stronger, way more annoying. We kind of have lane advantage here. The Anivia doesn't have much mana. Okay. He once again is basically giving these up. And we don't want to use W here. I want to save the W for the Gromp camp, I think. I mean, that's good enough for me, too. Oh! We got a noob alert. Kill this guy. Olaf doesn't have flash, so... And then Echo will probably try to get into my blue side, so if I stay for the Gromp, then it might be bad for me. I'd rather just cross over through mid and see what we can do. Oh, I see. He's just going to kill my bot lane. Now that is a bummer. Guys, run! Yeah, I'm skipping a lot of camps, but I am level 5. It's kind of chill. Man, I don't think I can clean him up either. He really has to make a mistake. Hmm? 
Well, here's the mistake. A, Q. Chomp. I don't have Chomp? What? Alrighty, there's the mistake. Nice. And then I'm not even a shutdown. Surprisingly, he was. Echo, who's given you these five kills? I'll leave it to the enemy jungle to walk into five kills. Alrighty, back to the full clear. We have definitely done a world tour here. But we're still up CS on the Echo. If I was full clearing during that whole time, yeah, I'd be level 6, but how would I spend it? How would I spend it? Bot lane's pushed in, you know? That's usually where I find myself. In those sort of situations. Just keep running them down until we have a good reason not to. Unfortunately, I did die. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world because I already had that advantage before the play. So now I want to farm these camps, get level 6, keep getting some levels, and then look for some more fights. Or my bot lane's pushing too. It makes it very easy for me to just go take dragon. And then meanwhile, Echo like has to get some ganks off. Um, I can try to shoot one down there. Nice, Kaisa gives it to me. Close. Okay, so since Echo's dead, I'll go ahead and start that dragon up. Nice. Nice, we have the Smurf bot lane. Serrated Dirk, Sheen, and Caulfield's Warhammer. Well, let's just ride this one out, you know? Classic, you know? Like I just like I said at the start, I've been doing a little bit of feeding on this account. And then what do I get after totally inting? That's right, an insta-winning bot lane. A classic. So whenever you have winning lanes, what do you want to do? That's right, you get the objectives. They'll reset, and then I have a little bit until Stride Breaker. Since I haven't gotten any kills, it's kind of fine for me to stay on the map. Totally fine for that guy to die. A Shaco solo pushing bot should surely die. This may cost me the Rift Herald, but could I even defend it? That's my question. Hello. Phew. So if Echo's going to be doing the Rift Herald 2, I could try to get into his red side here. And then dive bot lane later. Nice. Don't mind if I do. If you're doing raptors, I think push them towards that way so that you're basically always pathing that way after finishing raptors. I can't stop my W here. Nice. Well, the job's done here, so I'll go ahead and reset. If they fight bot too, then I could ulti down towards it. But we definitely want to spend our gold and then get back on the map. The Echo is definitely pathing bot side here. My Draven won't respect it, but that's okay. That's just fine. Listen, we'll deal with what we can. Oh, they drop her failed mid. That's good. Nice, push mid lane like this. I'm down. Yes, sir. Phew. Goodbye. Oh! Shred Breaker. No. Oh, if I could have got my W off. Damn. Echo has a lot of speed. That's the thing. A lot of speed, seven kills. You know how it goes. I want to buy Merc Treads, to be fair. Phew. Bye-bye, Lux. 
Oh! Oh! Well played. started that health potion I just noticed like on Briar you definitely don't want to buy a health potion when you first start you just need the jungle item like the health potion don't do nothing it's just a really hard habit for me to break most of the champions I play like fight early so they need that health potion or they really want it but Briar like heals so much from the camps there's absolutely no need for it except for like a skirmish this jungle matchup we definitely don't need it. We don't skirmish with Echo. We full clear and then play against his lanes. Okay. Ulti's up, guys, but... Kind of a hard position, though. You can shoot the ulti during the W, too. So it's fine to be farming like as all this is happening. Shoot one right down that way. Alrighty, that's a hard miss, but you know what they say, you don't hurt him if you don't hit him. Nice, so Echo dies, we're going to be getting all of his camps. Getting all these camps is going to make me way, way, way stronger than him. Whenever you fall behind in levels in jungle, you stay that way for quite some time. And since that dragon's coming up, like... It's going to stay that way. I'll have nothing else to do. Shaco! Shaco, I love you. I love you. W. A. A. Q. A. A. Stridebreaker. A. A. W. Think. Anyways. I, I really wanted these raptors. Ugh. All yours. 62 CS to 106. It's fine. But I would love to have that one more raptor. Now Echo doesn't have a bad build either, he's going into the Lich Bane. Whenever I played a little bit of Echo, I was really surprised how much damage that dealt. But it's so hard for Echo to get to those items without getting kills. <laughs> Guess what he got? He got a couple of kills. Does it matter this game? No. In a more realistic thing game though, it gets way, way, way scarier. Ulti up in 10. We do have gold to spend, so I'll go ahead and reset. This is where I usually get lost on Briar. I'll go back for another full clear, and it sucks. It's way better to reset. Caulfield's Warhammer. I'll get a Ruby Crystal this time. And then just back out on the map. If something happens, we can ulti. Nice. The Anivia is not dealing much damage to Draven either. Kind of surprised. And then we're just waiting for Rift Herald to spawn. Keeping a really close eye on mid lane since Draven will be pushing. We want to support them. Nice. Go ahead and move into the river since it's 30 seconds to Rift Herald. And the Draven has entirely won the game, you know? It's pretty chill. Low elo jungler would be like, what do I do? Do I push with the Draven? I just don't know. Let's just hang out on the red side. <laughs> it's pretty cool though how I can be top lane. Even though my Draven is the guy of all time, since I can ulti in, it's so nice. It's so nice to be doing like extra stuff across the map. Okay. Run. No problem. Ouchie mama, 67 damage. How will I ever recover? Keeping a close eye on mid. Let's go ahead and shoot one down there. Okay, this is just Shaco clone. Q, A, E. Oh, oh really? 
Draven just one shot something like that. Okay, and then shutdown goes to Shaco. Deal. Anytime you're super fat, if you can give the shutdown to the support, do it. They're gonna get a bunch of gold and not use it well at all. Rift Herald, baby, I've been wanting to take you for a long time. We just got sidetracked. Yeah, he has 16 kills. I know, that's pretty crazy. So with the Rift Herald, it makes it where whenever we get a kill or assist, then... Well, whenever we get a kill, that we can push down the extra turrets, but all the outer turrets are out right... Or they're down. So we want to... We want to just hold on to the Rift Herald until we get a really big win. So that'd be like everyone pushing the same lane. And with like two minutes, three minutes till the Baron still, I think we just push down with Draven and then see if we can't drop the Rift Herald. Because if we stand on top of them, it's very hard for the enemy to engage. Briar's E can push enemies off, off the carries if you stand on top of them. So sometimes you can just stand still. Don't have to go in. Kinda chill. Oh, close. Any teammates right here? I can't stop my W. So we're just gonna go down, but... I get a lot of damage off at least. But damn, you can't drop the Rift Herald if you're dead. It's a whole lot of magic damage, man. Suppose I'll just get a Maul. Auto. 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 Well played. 17 kills. <laughs> A, A, dead. Okay, my ulti's almost in range. It'd be kinda chill just to ult in. All the way from here. Already Echo, don't let me down. Don't move, big man. Damn it, he moved the second I did that. Okay, we missed. Teammates, here I come. I can be useful. I've lost like half my HP just Wing forwards. Wow. Welp. Well played to the Draven. Glad to be along board. After totally feeding. Suppose I just walk into a victory. The Honor Deluxe. Alrighty, and then that gives us plus 41. So even though I've been losing, I still get plus 41 on this account. Because we're Platinum 4, 60 LP. But then we're playing with about Emerald 2. So the, the LP gains make sense. Okay, that guy's unranked. Classic. And then this guy is Emerald 4. Too much damage. Most damage as always. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Dude, I did it again. I, I bought a health potion and I'm still running Triumph. My bad. Guys, learn from my mistakes. You don't need a health potion on Briar Jungle. And Overheal is the nuts. It's so good. Imagine going into a fight with hundreds more HP and the potential to build that up multiple times. It's so hard to beat that, whereas I heal when I kill them, not what I need. I'm, I need more HP whenever I'm there. But anyways, welcome back to the jungle. We're going to be playing Briar into Viego, and welcome back to Unranked to Diamond on Briar. We're in Plat 3, if you look in the bottom left, we just need one win, baby. And then we're Platinum 2. We're playing into Viego, and then I have this Sona, and they have a Rel, so they have a real champion bot lane. So that really makes me think that I want to path topside. And specifically with Tristana ADC into Kai'Sa, 
the Tristana is going to push in the Kai'Sa. So if I was to do a full clear bot, then it might be kind of hard for me because they could invade me, the Tristana and the Rel. And there's nothing that Sona and Kai'Sa can do about that, so... I'm path and topside. Like... Yeah, damned if I do, damned if I don't kind of situation, it feels like. If I pass top, do they die? Maybe. Yeah, that's, I mean, that hurts me in the long run, but not in the short term. So I guess we'll do it like this. Nice, Viego's also pathing topside. Now this is good news, because that means he's not going to full clear and then dive my bot lane. It looks like my clear's faster than his, too. So I'll definitely be able to do my red side camp before he could try to invade me. Auto. You can use an auto before you slam the camp into the wall there. Not only does it give you that extra auto, but it applies the bleed, and then the bleed will be going like as you're moving into the camp again. And you don't waste your auto attack cooldown. Like it's so beast. Get the red buff to about 100 HP. Over the wall. A little bit too much there, but that's fine. I'm not going to use my smite on the camp, since Viego is also pathing topside. I want to have smite for Scuttle Crab. Hello, Mr. Yasuo. Oh, you have stayed in lane. A big mistake. A big mistake. Now we're going to auto attack him. Okay, we're gonna W. <laughs> uh, give me a second. A, W, A. That's what does have TP. Oh, I really missed the minions. Diego can be here, so we do wanna be careful. I hope he didn't do scuttle yet. He did. Now my E is up and I have a health potion, so. Oh, you're just walking through mid. 29 CS, that means he did all of his blue side camps, so there's nothing for me to answer for there. Man. Man, he's just gonna do the scuttle before I get there. Man. Diego, this is unacceptable. In fact, I can't accept it. What should I do about this? Your Corky is Eden, and what can I say? He's a, he's a stellar fella for that one. Nice. He's slow. W. Moving. A. 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 Q. A. A. Chomp. Oh! Lead kills him. Just like that, Viego. That will show you. If you kill the Scuttle Crab, your mid laner has to go stupid mode. Don't you know that? Duh. That's day one jungling. If you get a lead, your, your allies are gonna suck. Idiot. What were you thinking? So he shows right here, that means he didn't do my gromp as a response. Very nice. And we're back at it, we're just gonna full clear to the top side, that gives us level 5 and some change, and we'll do it all over again, try to fight the Yasuo. Try to fight the Yasuo and then also fight the Diego. By the second time you end up top lane though, they may be level 6, but in this case Yasuo level 6 versus the Alawi level 6, I would say is more favored towards us. Briar does okay into Yasuo. You do need to try to burst him, and then if you're on cooldown, you do need to kite out his autos. So, using the abilities well, especially how you use the E, is pretty important. Hmm. Viego gets there before me. Yeah, Viego didn't have to do all those detours, huh? Up level 5 and some change in Yasuo, doing me a solid once again. Now we're going to save our cooldowns here, he's going to build up his Q. All we have to do is keep moving into him. No problem. W. A. 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 Q. Chomp. Easy. It's easy because I make it easy. I just hold my abilities and walk right into him. Bronze players be like, how the hell did you do that? How in the hell is this bronze? No. In fact, it's like D4. We're in D4 MMR, so. Yeah, he just died because he's platinum. Actually. <laughs> Actually.
He's eight times your rank, Silver Bobby. Mine didn't he try to run away? <laughs> okay. Let's get level... Oh, shit. We're already level six, huh? Oh. Let's keep farming here. Falling has four kills. Huh. Interesting. Well, Balling has this big wave stacked up. I could fight Balling right now. My camps are on cooldown for a little bit. Oh. No ward, but I bet there's a ward right there. I'll go ahead and start dragging. My smite's coming up. Oh. Okay. This guy's really trying to go in, huh? Boink. Boom. Oh, he just dodged the explosion. Oh, chomp. A. A. Wow, Viego just avoided my ulti explosion. That would have taken him out. Now, he spent his ulti too, so I think I can just run the map here. All my camps are up, and even though my ulti is down, I'm stronger than Diego whenever both our ultis are down. What the ulti really gives Briar is, like, free initiation, and then also durability. So even though mine is down, it's still so fine to fight, so since his ulti's down, we'll go right to Rift Arrow. Very chill. Because I also just need a little bit of gold for... And a little bit of gold for the Stride Breaker. Let's keep Corky in lane here. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, hit the minions. Okay. Oh, that's one way to do it, Briar. We've done it again. We have killed ourselves to absolutely nothing <laughs> once again. Why when I W the minions, you know? Sometimes I hit the champion and sometimes I hit the wave, you know? I even dash this way. So that I wouldn't end up in that situation. I had it all, man. I had the Rift Herald. It was right there. <sighs> now Viego's ulti's coming back up, guys. And in the meanwhile, too, he's clearing camps. I am not clearing camps. Like, he's probably done a whole full clear. And with that being- and he took my red buff, it just keeps getting worse. Okay. He's level 7. <laughs> and then we want to sneak on in here. Oh! Trindamir, come party. Oh, Trindamir doesn't have ulti, shit. Okay, I'm moving this way. Boink. Q. Chomp. That's still a good chunk of damage on him. It gets the party started. We just go right back in. Nice. And a third time, baby! Damn it. Pretty. Rift Herald is mine. I earned it. Careful. Careful. Now, honestly, the Rift Herald isn't the nuts here, but it is good. And then, meanwhile, this guy has nothing else to do, and he gets killed. Let's go. Nice. Now, I have my Stride Breaker. Now, I'm online. I'm going to go Ninja Tabby very, very early here, skipping the other items. Yasuo, on hit. Diego, on hit. Corky. Tristana. A rail with IGN. Woo! All on hit champions. Uh, rail isn't an on hit champion. She gets a lot of attack speed, actually. Actually, I always have to be right. Finish off these camps finally, man. Diego's been level 8. You guys give me a second. Here I come. Hey, chomp. I'm going to drop Rift Herald bot. It's kind of chill. Enemy Rail was like jacking off mid, so... I think we're good here.
Now you want to get this to like 2 and 80% of the second turret plate and then drop the Rift Herald. Um, I'm gonna have to bail though. It will take the whole turret. Run! And that's a lot of gold for me. What I'm gonna do here is just 400 gold, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna stick around. See if they get a little crazy. Alrighty. They'll see a solo Kaisen, we'll just be A-OK. -okay. All the meanwhile, my topside camps are up. Honestly, I could have reset to the top side, but here we are. Is your boink? Goodbye. And crime pays once again. That's why we run the skin. Streets demon. I'm stealing shit. I'm stealing kills from the bot lane, baby. I'm making some fucking money. Ninja Thabby, call fields. And farm the topside camps before dragon spawns. But it's 30 seconds. Ah, just give me the blue buff, man. Fuck it. <laughs> Diego's level 9. But you're winning the map. I should have farmed more camps. So much damage. 700. Oh, fight. Fight. Huh? Diego went this way. Hello. Easy. Me and my girlfriend Sony didn't stand a chance. We have healing, we have shielding, we have damage reduction. Oh shit, Sona applies her damage reduction to him, and then I have my personal damage reduction. That is kinda cool. Time to farm. Now I could invade his jungle, but we can do that after the fact. We've already ended bot lane, so top lane's next one on the course. Um, I could get lucky here, but odds are that he win the walls. Close. Damn, he moved forward. So much for helping topside. Wow. Sona has Ardent Sensor as well. That's really gonna help me. I already have a lot of attack speed with the Stride Breaker and the W. The W gives you attack speed for free when it's active. But Ardent Sensor gives you on hit damage and attack speed. 20% and 15 on hit damage. Not too bad. Dope. I finished my camps, but Yasuo is not going to be here for a little bit. I'll go ahead and reset. I don't want to invade, and it's better for me just to be around to mid lane because my Kaisa and Sona are so strong. I don't have to sell the control word for a longsword. What a decision. The mistake there was that Sona was just way too far forward. As an enchanter, you have to pull the enemy into you, your short range. If you move into them, not only do you doom your position, but you give them what they want. W, stride breaker, A, A, Q, A, A, smite, A, A, chomp, A, A. This is Yasuo. We don't have to keep fighting. This is quirky. Ooh, we should have kept fighting. It's a hard angle to take though since they're so close to the turret. Well. I guess I could ulti right there. They see it coming though gonna miss. Corkster! Corkscrew! Phew. I'm still dead, huh? Uh, I only have armor and Mr. Corkscrew screw deals fucking magic damage. My one weakness, my bad. I didn't know he was pretty fed, too. He has a shutdown. Yeah, that's really bad. 
These are the main mistakes I'm making on Briars, trying to start these plays myself. Briars not good at that. But when my allies are doing nothing, I get confused. Better yet, when it happens on the opposite side of the map. And it's like, yeah, I start the play, my team cleans up, but that's not what I want. I want me to have 10 kills. And then we all work together. It all happens a bit slower. But then the enemy doesn't stand a chance, and more importantly, I don't spin myself. Hello. This is not good. That was really bad for him to chase. Three sets. Oh, Corkscrew is not here. Nice. Never mind. I want to get this, and I want to get the dragon coming up, so... In the meanwhile, we will not be able to farm. That's pretty chill. Dude, I hate that. I hate that. I so obviously W towards the damn Rift Herald. Maybe I have to do it better. Like, if he's over here, I need to W that way, for example. I need to try that out a bit more. Especially while I'm still doing the Unranked the Diamond series. It'd be really good to know. It's kind of up to my ADC to steal the CS from me. Okay. Mm. Enemy support down. Run! Oh, he's in there. This is such a bad play by him. Don't have to keep chasing. Again, let the fight happen against my allies, and then I can get in there. Not like that. Alrighty, time for Dragon. Since we don't have a wave, we won't keep pushing. And since we don't have dive, we won't keep pressing into them. So all the meanwhile, too, like, I've been fighting a lot, so I really need to do a clear after this. I get my smite upgrade off third dragon. I've skipped too many camps this game. Alrighty, they're mostly AD, so we'll go Death Dance. I do need to be careful for Mr. Corkscrew, though. <laughs> He's gonna deal a lot of damage to me. Alright, go ahead, your turn. You know how this shit goes. Where Viego got Scuttle Crab and then his laner died, like, I get dragon, my laners die. Oh! Nice. Lucky. What is this guy thinking? Damn, I don't have ulti either. I mean, dying at this point is like, whatever. Slung so that. The enemy Tristana like recalled, they're showing bots so they can't do Baron. It just wastes time, that's all. Because we could be... Oh god, Tristana, you've really... You've really overdone it this time, huh? Guess I'll check this. Okay. Yep, Tristana took my red buff. But she's still on the map. But then again... They showed bot side, so maybe we can just try to do this. Super easy, too. I kind of like this. Me and Sona, I can peel for Sona with my E. I kind of really like that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ow. Close. Oh, shit, I'm fighting. My bad. <laughs> my bad, man. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> 
Friar's an easy champ, kinda. Oh, they killed Rift Herald, what the hell? Any defenders in the chat? Sona, baby, run. Oh yeah, we broke your hole breaker, that was the problem. I didn't hit the right target. Well, my W didn't hit the right target. I W'd and then it goes towards Rail. I need to go on Yasuo. Well, there goes my Baron. My Baron's not mega useful though, to be fair. Briar kind of just stands around waiting for a fight to start. Now a smart one would be farming everything and waiting for a fight to start. We got another turret. What this Baron mostly gave us was gold, and now we can use that gold to fight for the dragon. We're gonna be outnumbered there. Damn, I wonder if I could hit this Viego. If I go down here, then we get, an, we get a vertical shot at it. Let's say right there. Yes, he's walking into it. Yes, we're in there. W, A, Q, A, 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 chomp. You can't escape. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, the bleed kills him. Nice. I couldn't choose to W over the wall. Like, I couldn't move towards the wall, you know? To then W in time. Nice, they got an inhib too. Now we're really just waiting for the dragon to spawn. With Earth's soul, it's gonna make us way too tanky. Way tankier than they can deal with. This guy's mostly alone. Please don't target. Yeah, it targets the damn... It targets the soul, dude. Auto. Are we getting in there or no? There's the wind wall. That's a waste of time, man. I'm going for dragon, guys. I really don't know if we can do this. The, the, or the Trinomir has to distract him for a long time. Because this dragon's so damn tanky. Oh god, wish me luck. <laughs> he wants to steal too. Okay, he's making it easy though. W A Q A A A chomp. Okay, thank you. And here comes the two eighty C's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W A A A strike breaker. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish the damn W would stay on the objective and not target the fucking champions. That is getting super annoying for me. Uh Because I can't choose to hit the fucking dragon or the baron during the fights. No dragon soul for us. So I got Death Dance, and now really it's like, I can get some magic resist, or I can get some HP. I think I'll just kind of do both here. Although I don't like the HP items too much. It's fine, right here I have Sona, so Spirit Visage gets a lot of value. And we already have three AD items. And the Stride Breaker, the Death Stance, and the Black Cleaver. So now, it's a minute till Baron. I'll just farm, trying to get to level 15, and then if we do Baron and take their jungle camps, that gets us to level 16. We could also just look to force fights, which, now that I'm looking at it, let's, let's try to do that. I'm a lot stronger than the enemy here. Let's try to shoot this one vertical. Again, much easier to land this way. Let's say right there. Nice, goodbye. Oh, yeah, try to try to go towards the minions. Dude, the frenzy kind of sucks. <laughs> Why would the frenzy go towards the minions all the way back there? 
Welcome to the Elite Complainer 45 signing on today. My champion don't work. Run. Okay, we're chill, we're chill. Yes, go over that minion. Okay. Um, guess we'll just keep pushing. Don't get hit by Corky Rocket. Six seconds, guys. I'm playing safe, personally. Okay, they're in. Trindamir has... Okay, and that's why I played safe. If I'm alive, a lot harder for them to Baron. Now, we have the three inhibs down, so... At least we have these to leverage against them. Spectral's Cal and Kindle Gem. I'm gonna go towards Baron here instead of farming. No, I'm not. Nobody's alive. I'm gonna do Wolf Camp and get level 16. But Bob, no one's showing mid. It's a bad sign. That means they're going towards Baron. Okay, no level 16 for me. Go ahead and heal a little bit. This is a hard situation. Look. I couldn't even press E. I got stun locked. Oh! Allow he's in there. Okay, nice try. Forfeit? Not just yet. I think I needed to ult around like 5 or 8k because they kill it so quickly. All of their champions are damage champions. And their DPS champions. And their crit. Like that is just... That's do Baron fast incarnate. Looks like Rail's the only one to die too. With a minute on Dragon, they're gonna catch up in a lot of gold. That's most of what's going to happen here. They're going to get more XP and they're going to get more gold. And we have to be able to still beat them if that's the case. The problem that I'm going to run into is that I don't have Randuins against their team. Now that I'm looking at it. To get two tank items like that would be kind of crazy though. Maybe I should have. Like The armor helps me so much more against everyone that's not quirky. Oh, noob alert, noob alert. Really have to pick and choose here. Oh, Lowie, don't backdoor. Come do it normal, I dare you. Oh god, they're both backdooring. This guy is not dying, damn. It's, it's better that Sona gets the shutdown too. More gold on her is better. Keep that man away! Nice. Now we're so tanky. Now with Corky dead with 42, I'm gonna be pushing. Damn, five seconds on my ulti, too. Any noobs right here? Oh. Nice. Sona, what? Oh, what the hell, guys? What the hell? Pull them into a Lowy, maybe, man. Maybe. Okay. Damn, they stopped chasing.
어? 대안. No. Oh, we actually lose. Damn. Damn, we tried our best, but the soul lanes were too heavy this time. The mistake they made was trying to solo push. Even though they're very much like solo, like side lane champions, they were losing too hard. So then they have to play with me and Sona and Kai'Sa. If they're grouped on top of us, then they can't lose. There's no threat of the enemy split pushing either. And if they split push, we can't help them. It is what it is. We tried our best. That's about the only way I lose games with this champion, and it, like in low elo here, is if solo lanes are bad, and then continue to split push. So, it is what it is. Maybe if I played with, with like split pushing champions like that again, I guess I would just go to the side lane with them, because it's not happening if we stand still and farm, apparently. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Welcome back to the jungle, and welcome back to Unranked to Diamond on Briar. Playing into Diana. Looks like she'll be starting topside. I wonder if I could invade her. I haven't tried a 3 camp invade on Briar just yet. So this would be the game to do it. And since she starts her red side, she'll be clearing towards blue. So what I can do is red golems, and then raptors to get level 3. And then hopefully all that's fast enough and then we can be in position to invade the Diana, like on Wolves. And whenever you're invading too, you kind of have advantage because there's a Blast Cone right here, letting you jump into the Wolves or the blue buff. Diana's a champion that gets kind of low on her clear too, especially her first clear. But I think this should work out just fine. So long that we don't get unlucky with something being warded. Just like that, we're level 3. Into this blue... this guy's blue side. Now he has flash and I have ghost, so if he jumps over a wall, we just kind of have to leave him <laughs> onto the red. Now he's going to use some abilities, and we're in there. W, ghost, moving, Q, A, A. Oh, I can't even get my chomp off. Now this is Nico. We'll use the E as she uses all the burst. We should be able to run away here. Okay. Q, auto, jump, A. Wow, really well played by that guy. Well, that's a lot of damage onto every single one of their teammates. They must have seen me coming somehow through a ward here or something because I think it was right here. I think the Yasuo awarded right side and then rotated because he was moving pretty early on. That was well played by the Diana to run away the way she did though. Okie doke. So Shaco got a kill off the back end of that. And we caused a, a big ass mess, you know? We really fucked up the map here. So that's a job well done by Briar, in my opinion. <laughs> Anytime you do that, you know, the enemy jungler is going to be slower on their full clear. And with Diana, she needs level 6. She needs it, and she's going to be stuck bot side. So what we'll do here is do scuttle, do blue, and then go right into her red side and, t and take the damn golems. That will show her. I'll show you to outplay me. Oh, let's just go ahead and smite this. Walk away, let it bleed. Smite. Almost got unlucky. And then we can W over the wall here onto the golems. Now if she's smart, she'll enter my red side and she could be even, but I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how she plays it. What? Okay, kind of unlucky. We're going to clear these way slower. Oh, she's already entering her red side. Let's go ahead and flank. Might be able to kill. We're going to do it like this. Hello. She doesn't know what's happening yet. Auto. Auto, W, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, chomp. Nice. Nice, nice. Diana's having a bad time. Diana thinks I'm a bad guy. But I'm just doing my job as a jungler. I'm just denying you level 6. 
Alrighty, the plays are done! Recall! Hurry up! We got places to be! Because if she reset boss, I get my raptor. Bad time. Bad time. I must defend my raptor. Or else, the two red side camp steel was for nothing! It'd be nice to have a word on dragon, too. Now, where Diana used her sums as well, like if she invades me, she's extra screwed. I can ghost and run her from here to kingdom come. So long that she doesn't have backup from Yasuo. Let's go ahead and pull these bad boys in here. So far, so good. Are you guys on dragon? My Sheiko's recalled, dude. Please don't be on this. Ugh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Really, you're ganking bot. Yes. Yes. Don't scare her. Okay, I think we're good. W. A. A. Iron Spike. A. 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 Q. A. Chomp. Diana, you've done it to yourself this time. But that's what happens. They have nothing to farm and then they're like, I guess I'll go into the river. Bad choice, man. Should have done nothing. Your camps are mine once again. Buh. Buh. Alrighty, now I have a couple options here. Dragon or a gank or my camps. I'm taking dragon. Kind of clean. Kind of a clean game. Now Di Diana finally gets to farm her red side camps. And that's just okay because I'll be farming all of my camps up to the Rift Herald. And if she farms her red side camps down to bot side, there's nothing for her to do now because I took the dragon. And imagine, all this started from me dying in their blue side. I didn't even kill her. Huh? She went top. Damn, hurry up. Ugh. Drake, where's my wolves? Drake, where's my gromp? You already know the scuttle's gone, huh? Wah. Why would this be up? That's that's played okay by Diana, I guess, but... Now I'm in better position for the Rift Herald. Now, she's probably level 6 off her red side camps, if I had to guess. But so long that my E is up, it's very hard for her to get an engage off. I'm gonna ult Yasuo, I really need to watch for his win wall. Meanwhile, Scion just giving me the freest. <laughs> Never mind. Die before I can get there, a smart move. If I drop the Rift Herald, then I can get Stride Breaker on the recall. Because Diana took one of my camps, man, I'm kind of stuck on the map here. Oh? Huh? I could shoot an ulti here. It's kind of chill. Really, nothing's happening? Okay, back to my camps. I'm wasting time. I figured the Yasuo would know that he's stronger than Akali. Maybe not actually, he has Kishri Shard and a bunch of bullshit. I'll just go ahead and take my Gromp too, that finishes off my blue side camp so then I can just stay bot, bot side for a long time. I want to gank mid and I want to gank bot lane. 
This also makes it where Diana has nothing to take as well. Very chill, very chill. Whatever happens top, we do not care. Just like that, Diana's even in CS with me, and has killed my AD. Challenger move right there. Now, Ezreal can E my ulti, but what if, you know? Close. We did kind of scare him. But Akali has him right here. Wow, he just keeps moving towards that Shaco. The box? Very nice. Go ahead and take this whole turret with Akali. You want to get the turret to two plates, and then you can drop the Rift Herald, and that'll take the whole thing. Two plates and about 20% damage, and that whole turret's gone. So since it's dead, we'll just go somewhere else. Yep, the faster we go somewhere else, the faster we're in position for an actual play here. No. Auto. Most Yasuo's win wall me like that, I don't get it. My champ don't got nothing. Maybe they're just scared. Alrighty, and we'll just wait for the dragon. 15 on my ulti, and then shutdown goes to Scion, so that's probably better for us. Now with both objectives, what I want to do better than I've been doing in previous games is farming everything and then looking for a play. It's a pretty necessary part of every, nice, every jungler. I think the game desynced because of the W. I think that's a bug with Briar. I've had it happen a bunch of times. But in the past games, I literally disconnected, so... But anyways, we want to farm all the camps and then do a play. Whereas in prior games, I've been skipping camps and then just trying to do plays regardless. Which is like, abuse low elo, yeah, but... This is like a fail safe and also just the better way to play, I'll be honest. And it's like, why is it the better way to play? Well, come on, man. You get more golden XP if you skip the camps then you don't get the golden XP. So if you do the golden XP, if you do the camps, you get the golden XP, and if you win the play, you get even more. If you do the play, you get gold, you help your team, but then you don't have the golden XP from the camps. So what was the point? Wait, where's my blue side camps? I'll kind of stay on the map for now. We have one minute until Rift Herald. If we kill this guy, fucking somehow then. Nice, I can just take these actually. Since Diana took my took my blue side camps. Let's reset. That's a whole scion right there. It's chill. One minute till Rift Arrow. Let's actually fight for that. Scion just wants to die, that's the thing. Callfield's Warhammer. Kindle Gym. Sell that control word that I apparently never place. I buy that control word every game and she don't get placed often. Keeping an eye on top lane, I think that's where Diana would go. Close. Keep farming.
Now it has to be frustrating for like mid and top lane Briar. I don't get to choose when my champion autos past the first one. So to CS with the W must be weird. If I had to guess, they just don't use that W. I bet they use the W for trading. We can just walk into Scion here. He takes quite a long time to kill anyways. Nice one. Q, A, 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 chomp. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, thank you, thank you. No! Well, let's just chomp him, huh? For fuck's sake. Not a game goes by that I don't do this shit. Maybe I should play lane Briar so that I stop killing myself with the W. Really build up some reps on not casting that shit in the wrong way. They have quite a bit of magic damage. So I'm, but it's like on hit, on hit, on hit, so I'm still thinking Ninja Tabby. But would I go Hex Drinker after that? Instead of the Death Dance. I think so. I think that's fine. Because they don't have a lot of burst. Nice. That sets us up for an easy third dragon. Right there. Gotcha. Nice, we got his flash too. And the game is set up for us, man. Both my soul lanes are winning. Three dragons, easy. This is going to be air dragon soul, giving us more movement speed. And that movement speed is super useful for me in this set. Actually, I don't even know if it's useful for Briar. Of course it is, you get to stay on top of them. I don't know, man. I get quite a bit of movement speed from everything involved here. And I'm back at it, farming my camps. I think that's part of how this champion is balanced, with the clear speed. Now one thing I do like about Damage Briar is that you clear faster and it really feels like I can be in more spots a lot faster. If the camps are dead then I can be there. Oh, this is tricky. Let's shoot one right there. Hope for the best. Nice, onto Diana. Oh, that's not what we want. Not what I want, man. Well, I got a double kill. That's better than farming the camps. Two deaths to the turret. Two deaths to my W in the turret. Not those. Now I have a choice. Small Malmortius or Sterex. A A D A P A P A P. A static Shiv and Hex Drinker. What? And then like A D A P A P, I think I do Maw. A Hex Drinker is sounding pretty chill to me. I've never had the Hex Drinker go ballistic, but the stats are just generally good. 65 A D, and then some magic resist. Shut down. Silver Merc Dawn is surely a better item though, because I get A D, magic resist, and HP. Let me just try this one out. You know, what's it gonna hurt? Even though. I can only cleanse the um, Nico stuff. It also removes slows and gives me 50% tenacity for a short duration after activating it. So at the end of the day, it should help me stick on a target regardless. Let's get lucky with this one. Close. Okay, Google, kill this guy. To the death. We really don't have to rush Baron here.
The enemy has Nico and Diana. Both are very good at interrupting Baron. A whole team kill, easy. And then the Baron. Now you guys got it. Kill all enemy champions, and then the Baron. One more camp for Silvermare Dawn. Let's get lucky right here. No golems! Anybody got any gold? I'm looking for a hundred gold. You could have went back to your raptors. Yeah, yeah. It's for cowards. Damn, which way do you think he goes? Oh, he's a bit too stupid. He kept moving forward. I can't hit him. Silver Dawn acquired. Like, the stats on this item... I mean, this item is just really good for this champion. In this game, it's not that great, but it's okay. But the stats, 40 AD, 300 HP, and 40 MR, it's so good. Because Death Dance gives you armor and AD, but then gives you effective HP along the way. Whereas Maw only gives you the effective HP whenever you get low. Which isn't too guaranteed, or we might be CC'd and then we're low. So it's kind of act like I think it's actually kind of hard to utilize the Maw on Briar for that reason. Because even though this champion is designed to be that drain tank. When do I get in an auto for auto battle where it really matters? Well, maybe if you played right, you know you're not wrong, but. Houston, we do not have liftoff. Can't remember the last time I hit an ulti. Alrighty, guys, I'll just solo the Dragon Soul. Zion coming right down here, you already know. Hello, friend. Moving. Damn it, he walked away. Damn it, he walked away. Dude, this is where Briar sucks. Already nice, they forfeited. Silvermare Dawn was used. You can't say it wasn't. Kind of chill, kind of relaxing game, you know. I take my time. I farm my camps. It's an easy win. I wonder if this is how Briar's just going to shape up for me here. With Unranked to Diamond, as we enter Emerald, we're going to start playing a Master and Challenger, so... I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. That puts us at Platinum 2, baby. Platinum 2. I'm on my way up. Final damage dealt. 1500. And then Koopdel 500. Total healing from Conqueror 600. And then one of the important stats for me here is going to be the gold generated. So I have 1100 to Diana 7. And then I have... Um, how much CS? I have 206 CS and then she has 130. That's exacerbated by her losing the game, right? But imagine I'm up like at least 40 CS. Well, shit, I guess it's kind of where it at. But like 25 
30, 40 CS. That's where I want to be. I want to deny her early, at least try to, and then ramp past her. Because Diana just keeps falling off. Whereas if it's Karthus, I don't know, I have to battle him on even ground. But Diana's a noob champ, so at least we have the opportunity to attack her there. Even if it failed, like it did in her blue side, dude. <laughs> we we made a mess, and my enemy or my allies came with a with a sweeper and just and sweeped it up. No problem. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Welcome back to the jungle and welcome back to Unranked to Diamond on Briar. We are currently in Platinum 2. Count them. 2 Platinum ranks. And we're playing against Hecarim. I already worded his red, so... He's a goofy goober and wants to do his red first. Or even the Raptors into red. I may have an invade onto his uh, blue side. So I guess we'll see. Because Hecarim's a pretty lame champion. And I like to... I like to deny him when I can. Now the enemy bot lane's not showing, so it's kind of making me want to just do a full clear up then. Yeah, they have a Nyla ADC. I guess that was kind of a good indicator, too, that they might just leash. Because Nyla and Nami, like, they don't do much in lane. What is this guy doing? Leona, you're supposed to support the ADC, not the mid laner. Alright, so Hecarim full clears, and so do we, and we'll both end up topside. I kind of like my odds here. On paper, a LeBlanc top. But I guess we'll see, you know? I guess we'll see. Because the Blanc top should be poking the Pantheon. Okay, maybe we just have to path back to bot side after finishing this clear. I don't want to invade Hecarim on, like, his red side because... One, I'd have to find him. Two, I'd have to chase him. Three, there's no guarantee that he gets there at a reasonable time because... After Hecarim does three camps and he can also just recall. So, that champion's pretty lame to play against. For those sort of reasons, man. Like, you can't be invaded. Okay. Even though we're smurfing too, it's like, I wouldn't put it past... I wouldn't put it past the Hecarim player to know how to... Nice. Do the three camps and then just recall. Hmm. My LeBlanc has teleport, so if we fight for Scuttle, it should be my favor. Damn. I, uh, I ran overheal this game, but I didn't- I still built the health potion. When will I learn? Victor, you're too far up, friend. I don't even need the Oriana support, I don't think. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Close. Alrighty. Well, I get the Scuttle Crab in a way. It's weird that Hecarim was immediately there. He has 25 CS, but then was in the middle of mid lane. So he wanted to con he wanted to concede this topside scuttle. That is weird. Oh, I have the same angle on top lane, but pretty hard to actually get a attack off here. Jump over this wall, and then do I have the juice here? That's what we're wondering. LeBlanc's really going to have to set me up. At the very least, we can get his flash, I think. Pew. Well. <laughs> well, you didn't cast that funny chain. Suppose my time is wasted. And we'll just keep being wasted right here. I'm going as far back as I can. That sucks. That sucks because we don't get, like, any kills. And it wastes our tempo. My camp is already up here. And I'm not there. You know what that means? Someone else could be doing that damn camp. The Hecarim could just be ruining my life. Hecarim with 31 CS. Meaning that he's done this. And since he doesn't have 32, yeah, my Raptors would be up. Now, Hecarim, we have a question. Do you want to go bot lane? Okay. Please try to run down the Leona too. Please? Yes. Yes, you've fallen right into my trap. Phew. Hey. Hey. I hope I'm not going to be killing him. Maybe I am. Come on, bleed. Close. An enemy has been oh, nice. I got him. You have seen lucky, lucky. Now, where Hecarim's a bullshit champion, he's going to respawn too fast for me to take his golem, so... Or to take his Grom, so we'll do golems and then path up once again. We need to do this quickly, though. We've already s wasted a lot of time.
Yep, that bleed passive is surprising. 97 damage. So just like the general camps, I could leave the enemy at about 100 HP. With champions, a little it's a little bit harder because they have... Lots of different champions have lots of different like health regen. So it's hard to tell if you're actually killing them. Do they have a potion running? Do they have a support next to them? A bunch of stuff gets in the way of actually walking away at like 100 HP. Let's go ahead and skip Gromp. Try to have a faster position on this. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Now I do need to be careful with my abilities here. Oh. Damn, I do not have E. Run! AQ, WW, I'm so dead. The Hecker or the Pantheon pressed Q instead of W. My bad. The Pantheon played it well? You're shitting me. Welp! We trade a kill- we don't trade a kill. I just straight up die. But, I get home guards, I'm full HP, and it's back to the bot side. I can do red buff, get level 6, and then just kind of force a dragon, because the Hecarim's gonna stay topside for quite some time. He'll be hitting level 6 off these golems if he goes there. Huh. LeBlanc is just tanking him in melee range and winning. LeBlanc is not a normal champion, question mark. Uh, streamer, is this champion balance where, where the range champ just totally owned the, the melee? Oh, I think I miss. Okay, we're in there. Easy. W. A. A. Q. A. Chomp. Wow. Hecarim's pissed. I do a little feeding. I'm faster to the bot side. Yes, I'm in position to ulti. Kabink. Easy ulti. Alright, let's take this dragon off the board where Hecarim has stayed topside. Getting this objective down lets me play topside for a little bit longer too without an immediate response of Hecarim. One, killing my bot lane, but then two, taking the dragon. So it's not so much that I really care too much about this dragon, but Hecarim not getting it? Now that is beast. And then we do a chill little full clear to the top side, get level 7 and some change, and then have our ulti back up, and we're good to go! Good to go! Floor that damn thing! Come on, let her rip. Let's see how fast this puppy can run. So I'm looking for the Rift Herald, I'm looking for a fight top, and then I'm also looking to have enough gold for Stride Breaker on my recall. All the meanwhile, the onus is kind of on the enemy to stop me. Now, it looks like they took my red. That's fine. I don't care. Oh wait, I took my red. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Subscribe for more gaming tips. The enemy took my red because it's gone. Watch that, I took my own red buff. Alrighty. I guess I'm on the Joe Biden decline. I won't be able to make a proper sentence by next week. My bad. Shouldn't have ate that gas station sushi, it's over. Alrighty, I'm gonna skip Gromp here and then look to take Rift Herald. On perfect timing, the bot lane dies, so you already know what it is! Damn. If you buffer the chomp at the right time of the Rift Herald shoving you, then you're able to hit the I. The W is unstoppable. The W chomp part. Very similar to like Vi E. So even if the enemy flashes, you're still gonna hit them. Which is kind of interesting that they implemented that on a champion on purpose. Because the old champions like Vi E and the Nidalee Q, I'm not sure that it was intentional. Because those abilities will hit you even if you flashed. I think I could ulti this guy. He's playing very similar pockets, so... And then he moves back? Damn, man, never mind. He's moving forward, moving forward. That Orianna is like no HP and you move backwards? What? What? 
guy has no E. Pretty chill. Bunch of gold, and now we are truly cooking. Put put the pedal on the gas. Floor this damn thing. We got a stride breaker. Uh, enemy team comp. Let's go black cleaver as per usual. Honestly, we got stride breaker. We got Caulfield's warhammer, and it is back to the bot side. No problem. No problem. Level A, 84 CS. Now the only way you start losing on Briar here, pay attention, is if you stop farming. That's the only way I'm losing these games recently. And I could have. Honestly, I should have chose to path topside because I would be I would be pathing towards bot lane. Oh god! Just as I say it, honestly, look at this. I need to drop Rift Herald. I should have pathed to bot. I'm skipping my camps. No. I'm dropping Rift Herald. No. They're clearing the wave. No. Alrighty, I dropped Rift Trail. I'm gonna go farm, guys. Listen, I can shoot an ulti sometime this year, but I think Hecarim is farming as well, so we're kind of okay. Farm the camps. Don't attack that guy. Farm the camps. I'm a good noodle. Staying on the bot side, though. Massive overdive. I should have farmed from Bromp to bot. But you didn't. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna do my red buff and then I'll be in a better position for an ulti onto bot lane. Because even though the ulti is global, it's much easier to land whenever you're closer. They really just reset, huh? That's fine with me. Since they reset, that means that the victor will be all alone, so I may be able to attack him. I see, I see. Right here? Oh, I hit Hecarim. Shit. Stride Breaker? A, 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 W, A, Q. Chomp, E. He's dead. Nice. Kinda worried for a second. So since he dies, you know what that means. We get the objective! Oh! This is not who I want to see. Oh, I couldn't get my chomp off. Really, I died just like that. This guy does have ninja savvy. That is a thousand damage pretty quickly. I should have just been on the dragon, though. Damn. I actually get punished for that. Well, since she deals that much damage, let's just go ahead and hard counter her with a Ninja Tabby and a Ruby Crystal. That will show you. That will show you to have a lead. And actually, they're not even that good. Yeah, 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 you killed my mid laner, but you'd never kill my support. Yeah, 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 you killed my support, but you'd never kill my ADC. They get dragon. In the meantime, we'll be farming. Do I want to ult into three people? No. That was kind of close. JPEG of the futuristic city. What the world could be like if I passed bot. If I did gromp into bot lane, drop herald. Alright, the good noodle has done their jungle camps. I'm ready to party. Mr. Pantheon, come and play. Come and play. I'm gonna save our Q just in case a little party gets started here. Now we're not looking to attack Pantheon. We're looking to attack... 
the enemy bot lane here. How do we do that? A little flank aroni. But I have a whole Hecarim problem right here. Let's do this shit, guys. Nice. We got their ulti, so that's good enough. Trade a belt, a Briar E for a whole Hecker multi. Deal! You wanna trade again? Guys, don't do this. So long that they don't fully engage, I'm not looking to ulti, I wanna finish. We can do a little flankaroni, or we could do a little reset. But I don't have black cleaver gold yet. Hello, friend. So Hecarim doesn't have ulti, so I'll just drop the Rift Herald, but I want to wait for the minion wave. Or else it may be hard to actually use. Oh. Uh. Uh. Stay on this damn thing, fellas. Focus up. Leona, baby, look alive. Scare him. Bong. Alrighty. We got the double bonk. That's about all I can do by myself. Um, let's shoot a wacky one right here. Yeah, he did not even come close to that. Maybe I could honestly just chase him down. I think my items are better. He just has Spear of Sojin. He does have quite a bit of CDR, so if he's not doing golems, I think I kill. Okay. Damn. I wonder where he went then. I'll go ahead and hold this wave and then reset. This has wasted a bit of my time though. I really wonder where he went. Maybe he just went straight backwards and I missed him. 140 to Dragon. I'll be pathing from top lane or from top side to bot side. I'm getting all the farm. I'm somehow a level down on Hecarim. That will show me to exist. We have even CS. My bad. But honestly, if I get more jungle camps than him, then I'd be ahead in XP somehow. So if they took that scuttle, it's a pretty good sign that Hecarim was top side. Q to these. I think I have them with the ulti. Can the ulti be landed? That's the real question. W. This isn't gonna work out. I should have chased Victor, huh? Hello, friend. W. I have a flank position, guys, and they know it. What the fuck are you doing? Run. I'm gonna be outnumbered now. I hope Leona, you lived a pretty long, but a pretty stupid life, what can I say? The dragon is all theirs. Trade with mid turret, I might be able to trade onto Pantheon too. Okay, they didn't do dragon, this is good. I guess I'll just recall, I have a lot of gold to spend. They really wasted their time not doing dragon. But we don't have ultis and they have better position on the map, so... Won't bother with trying to force a fight. I think Death Dance here, most of their damage is AD. And it's especially burst damage, so... Death Dance like, gives me the survivability. As well as giving me some damage. Hmm. I think, can see Dragon, they have better team fight. We all need to get some items too. No mid laner. <laughs> they have a whole hack ram, just... No problem, no problem.
So if I keep farming, I get myself strong. Any of these plays with my team is to help me win an objective. There's no objective that we can win. I'll just keep getting strong. And now the onus is on the enemy to do something. And I don't really see him doing nothing. So it's kind of chill. Hecarim goes top. Right there. Good luck. I hit one, baby! W, Q. To the next one. Now we're talking, Leona. Now we're talking, baby! That's what I like to see. Double ping, Leona. You're a beast, dude! Alrighty. A Baron flip. Now we still have opposition in the Nyla and the Nami. We are not home free here. This is not an easy situation. Oh, Ready. Wish me luck. Nine seconds, five on Hecarim. And then we have a Pantheon ulti. We have good chances, I think. So long that I save my E for Pantheon ulti, I'm fine. And I'll heal up with my W. I'll just heal off Baron right here, that's me. Hecarim's here, shit. <laughs> Do I want to flip? No. Run. Damn it, he held his abilities again. An expert move. Okay, nice. Don't mind if I do. Kind of okay for me. Mm. The chomp went to Hecarim because Victor flashed away. Damn. They can't do this though because my ball lane's here. Run! The whole Nyla. Damn, I got a whole death stance off that. I must have got quite a bit of kills. Right. So they're mostly a AD. It would be okay to get some magic resist. Hmm. This is where I'm kind of stumped on the build usually. Do I want a Spear of Visage? Huh. I do have quite a bit of AP on my team. I think I could do Abyssal Mask. That does not sound bad. With Abyssal Mask, whenever you're on top of multiple people, you steal magic resist from them. And then that, that can give you a shit ton of magic resist. My problem is that it doesn't give me AD, but at least this item's cheaper. Being in a more offensive option than the Spirit Visage, because the Spirit Visage technically gives me HP. But since I don't have Sterex, it would only increase the healing from... Really, my Chomp and then kind of my passive... Yeah, there's the E healing, but usually I use that bad boy at full HP. Kinda have to against the initial engage. And then it's on cooldown for a long time. Alrighty, I'm looking for level 16, and then I'm really looking for a good pick or a good fight, because that is how we leverage Baron against the enemy here. Nyla's all alone for now, so try for a lucky one. Fuck, oh, so close, and that could be the whole game too. Done with my camps, now I'm just really cheesing right here. Mr. Victor, do you want to lose the whole game for your team? Oh, really bad position here. Oh god, this guy stayed. Oh. No, Victor, do you want to hit mid turret? No, you don't. Shit. We're up all night to get lucky. I can go in, Leona. I better just go in right now. Oh, my ulti's not up. Shit. Jin didn't get any damage, but that's okay. Yes! Run! Oh, Jin has Baron. That's a-okay with me. So I W over, okay? I W, and then, very importantly, I Q the Baron. Whatever you Q, you're gonna target. 
So since I target the Baron, I can get my Chomp. And then I Chomp. The Chomp can't be interrupted. I think I got CC'd in some way. So I Chomp, Smite. That's my best chance. Kind of worked out this time. We got Baron on one, baby. Most importantly, though, we deny Baron for them. Enemy team has Baron with their winning-ass teammates and their good-ass carries and shit. We got a real problem. Even though we got a, a big group of busters here, it's a lot... We just, we're just holding on. That's all we can really do is hold on until, I guess, I get strong. And then maybe we can win. Kind of okay that they're taking my jungle camps. I'm already level 16. So, more camps just gets me closer to ulti right there. Nice. Somehow I can hit the ultis on the fastest target, Hecarim. But then they're hard to hit on everyone else. Just keep autoing this guy. Phew. Problem. Oh, get me in there. We can win. Holy shit, they threw. Sir, uh, keep pushing. And we need one to defend bot. So we push top because it's where the minion wave is. Instead of mid lane, we'd have to really wait things out there. Kill this wave, quick! We don't have time to waste. No, oh, Victor's back. Victor, get the fuck out of here, buddy. Nice, Victor's dead. Wait, guys, keep pushing. We just won the game. I got great news, guys. Our Baron buff is here with Jin. I can't believe we won this game, huh? You know what they say, just keep holding on. I've had quite a bit of comebacks with Briar recently. I just uploaded back-to-back -back comebacks, and then with this one, I would count this as a pretty big comeback. I feel like everyone was behind, and I'm really starting to get this playstyle down where I farm my camps. Listen, you're going to have to put something really shiny in front of me nowadays for me to not farm every single one of those camps. And then when it comes to mid-game, we need to skirmish, right? We really need to skirmish, so I want these two items, Stridebreaker and Black Cleaver. Makes skirmishes very good. And then come team fighting, I, I want either Death Dance or I want Sterex. In this case, they're all AD. Death Stance was too good to give up. But Sterax is like your team fighting item. And then fourth item can be like an actual tank item. Like maybe Gargoyles, maybe Spirit Visage, maybe Randuins. I think that's fine. Because you're trying to close out the game at that point. And then if you're really winning, you can just build all damage. It doesn't matter. But damn, I'm surprised Briar has the juice. Alrighty, that puts us at that puts us at platinum two. Well, those clients really something. Puts us at platinum two forty four LP. Just a couple more wins and we'll be emerald. Alrighty, see you then. Peace.